Hey, what's happening guys? So in today's video, we're going to go over some interesting things. I'm going to show you some important formulas that are required for journaling your trades and figuring out if you're profitable or not. So this is going to help you in your trading. So in this video, we're going to use Microsoft Excel to do a few things here. I'm going to show you a few formulas. Let's get to it. The first formula, this is quite a common formula. It's just how to calculate the expected value of a bet. So this can apply to anything where there's a bet involved. It could be a coin flip. It could be poker. It could be a trade. And this is a very common formula here. And it's just going to be the amount win times the probability of a win minus the amount lost times the probability of a loss. And that's going to give you your expected average return of the bet. That's the first formula here. I'll just give you an example of it first of all. So in Excel, to create to start a formula, you need to type equals. So let's say I type equals. Let's create a formula here, a coin flip. 50% of the time you win 200 and 50% of the time you lose 100. The way we're going to write that is like this. Open brackets, 200 times 0.50 because 50% to close the bracket minus open the bracket 100. That's our loss now times 50%, close the bracket, hit enter, and that's gonna tell us that the expected value of this bet is 50, which means that if we bet this over and over and over again, we would be profitable. So you can use this formula as a baseline to kind of give yourself an idea of the maximum loss you'd be willing to accept on a high probability trade, for example. So um, typically high win rate occurrences tend to have smaller profits and there's always a chance of a larger loss. So an, an example of an options trade, for example, let's say you take an options trade that theoretically has an 80% chance of success. Let's say there's an 80% chance that the option expires out of the money and expires worthless. So we're going to create a formula like that. So let's say 80% of the time we make $80 and 20% of the time we lose $300. Let's try that. So open bracket and we're going to do $80 times 80% of the time. Close the bracket and we'll minus that by our loss now, which will be $300 times 20% of the time. Close the bracket and that will tell us that the expected value of this bet is four, which means that this is actually a profitable bet. So if 80% of the time you're making $80 and 20% of the time you're losing $300, this bet based on the law of probability is actually profitable. So if you did that over and over again, you would have an expected return of $4 per bet. So again, this is why this is important to measure if a strategy is profitable or not. Okay. So again, that's a very fundamental formula and we're going to use that formula to uh, calculate our average returns later in the video here. So next in the video, I want to show you how to import a trade log into Excel, which is quite easy in fact, and then how to calculate your win rate, and then your average return of your trading. All right, so let's get to that right now. So what you're looking at right here is a trade log in IBKR, okay? Now, when you import your results into Excel, you're gonna wanna import the results in a way that is easy for you to manipulate. So for me right now, for what I'm about to show you, the data I need the most is going to be the realized PL. So I've clicked on this here to organize the data so that it shows all the realized PLs in order like this, all the losses and then all of the wins. If I click on something else, like for example, the price, you're going to see it organizes it by lowest price to highest price. But again, that's not what you want. You can also organize it by buys and sells. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to copy this trade log into Excel this way right here, where you can see all the losses in one shot and all the wins in one shot. And again, the reason for that is because we want to make it easy for us to average these losses to figure out what's our average dollar loss per trade and average these winners to find our average dollar win per trade. And that's going to give us a better idea of how our trading's performing over a larger amount of occurrences, of course. Because again, if you have one big win or one big loss, it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. That's why we need to average out those occurrences to figure out if your strategy is profitable or not. Okay. So again, this is a trade log in IBKR and you can also find similar things like this. For example, let's say you want to go back and uh, find your results for the year. You can easily do that by running an, an account statement. So every broker is different. This is just an example of a trade log in IBKR. So what we're going to do here is let's say I'm comfortable with what I have displayed in the trade log. Obviously you can always change what's going on. I can get rid of this. I can get rid of that. Let's say I wanted to get rid of the currency. I can just delete it. You see, it's no longer there. So what we're going to do here, there's two ways you can export it. You can either go to file export or you can just control A, which highlights everything and then control C to copy it. Then go into your Excel and go to the first column and hit control V to paste all that stuff. So now you can see all this data has been pasted into Excel. So let's get to it here. The next two formulas I'm going to show you 
first of all, is calculating your win rate, in which turn we also need our loss rate to calculate our average return of these trades and if the strategy is profitable or not. Okay, just a quick note, these realized P&Ls here include commissions paid. If your commissions are not included, you're going to need to add them in when you're calculating your average return afterwards. All right, so let's get right to it here. How to calculate your win rate? Well, it's a very simple formula. All it is, it's the number of wins divided by the total amount of occurrences. So in this case, how many occurrences? We have 36 occurrences, 36 trades in total. How many of those were winners? I think about 16. So from 21 to 36, that's 16 winners. So in order to calculate our win rate, we simply do to start a formula on Excel, it's equals. And then we do the amount of wins, which is 16 divided by the total amount of occurrences, which is 36. And that tells us that our win rate is 44%. Got it? A win rate is an important metric for measuring your trading performance because your win rate is your probability of winning. How many times you actually win versus how many times you actually lose. So to get your loss rate is just the opposite of the win rate. If you want to get that quick in Excel without doing any calculations, you can simply just do start the formula and then do one, which signifies 100 minus this box right here, and then just hit enter. And that's going to tell you your loss rate here. So your loss rate is 55% in this case. So now that we have these two metrics, it's going to be quite easy to average these losses, average these winners, multiply them by the percent of win and loss ratio to figure out your average return on the trading session. Here we go. So again, right here, just to show you the formula, how to calculate average return of your trading. It's the same exact formula as this one, except instead of using your amount win, you're using the average amount one and the average amount loss. And then if your commission is not included, you're just gonna have to minus the average commission paid per occurrence. That will give you your average return. So why don't we try this right here? Let's start it off with an equation and we open a bracket and we will type average in Excel. We will open another bracket and we want to average our winners. So we'll start off by clicking on our winners, highlight all of them, holding shift. And now you can see that. So we'll go in and close the bracket there now and we'll multiply that by the win rate. So 0.44 and then we can close the bracket. We're going to minus this by our average loss times the loss rate. Here we go. So open bracket average. And now we're going to go in and highlight our losses similar fashion close the bracket, multiply that by the loss rate, which is 55% in this case, go ahead and close the bracket, hit enter. And that will tell you that your expected return, your average return on investment based on your win rate, your loss rate, and your average dollar win, your average dollar loss is 3150 in this case. As you can see here, even though there's a lot of losses in these trades, this trading session shows a positive average return. Now, was the trading session profitable? No, I think it was break even. But what this average return tells you is that if your performance stays exactly the same, that you will have an average return of 3150 per trade. That's why calculating that is going to be important. So there you have it, guys. Try it out for yourself. And I think that these calculations are going to help your trade journaling quite a bit. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. In today's video, we covered how to calculate the average value of a bet, how to calculate the average return of your trading, how to calculate your win rate. All right, guys, all the best for you today. Take care. Bye.